Ever wonder how some athletes just seem to like score when it comes to sponsorships. Yeah, you see those logos everywhere. You see, how can we how can we get in on that? It's like they have a whole other playbook, right? <laughs> for success off the field. But you know, the good news is it's not as mysterious as it seems. Okay. It really comes down to strategy. So today we're diving into like how you can actually help the athletes in your life land those sweet, sweet brand deals. That's right. And we're not just talking about the LeBron Jameses of the world. Right. This is for anyone really who is passionate about their sport and wants to kind of take their game to that next level, yep. even if they're, you know, just starting out. Exactly. And our friends over at Soccer Moms and Dads podcast gave us some fantastic pointers, actually. Oh, nice. They really break down the game plan. Okay. And the first thing they emphasized was this whole idea of understanding the athlete's value proposition. Okay, let's unpack that a little bit. What does that even mean? Yeah, it's it's about pinpointing what makes an athlete stand out. Okay. Beyond, you know, just their stats on the field or on the court. Right. Think of it like this, like, what's their X factor? Okay. Maybe they have a really powerful personal story. Right. Maybe they're super active in their community. <laughs> or maybe they're just, you know, incredibly charismatic on social media. Yeah. It's about identifying those, like, really unique qualities yeah. that would make a brand say, we need them on our team. Hmm. So it's about crafting this compelling narrative around them that's more than just they're really good at this sport. Precisely. It's about showing potential sponsors why they should be just as invested in this athlete's journey as as you are. And to do that effectively, you've got to understand, you know, who you're pitching to. 100 percent. The Soccer Moms and Dads podcast really hammered home the importance of research on this. OK. And they made this like brilliant analogy. Imagine you're coaching a team. OK. And you're about to, you know, play against your biggest rival. Right. You wouldn't just send your team out there blind. Right way. You got to have a game plan. Exactly. You'd study their game tape. You analyze their strengths, their weaknesses. You figure out their plays. You'd have your own game plan ready. Exactly. And that's how you need to approach potential sponsors. You do your homework. So what does that homework look like when we're talking about, you know, approaching these brands for an athlete? Mm -hmm. Where do you even begin? It starts with understanding the brand inside and out. Okay. Like, who is their target audience? Right. What kind of campaigns have they run in the past? Uh, what are their values? Right. And even more importantly, do those values align with the athletes? Yeah. You're looking for that perfect match right. where both the athlete and the brand can, like, genuinely benefit from this partnership. It's like you're finding that missing piece, right? Right. For both sides. And when you can actually articulate that connection in your pitch, yeah. that's how you really make that lasting impression. You're basically saying... I see you, Brand, <laughs> and I know we can score big I, together. Exactly. Now, while understanding the athlete's value and doing all that research on sponsors is, like, super important, right? the Soccer Moms and Dads podcast also made a really great point about having the right support system in place. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It really does take a village, right? Especially when you're navigating, like, the world of professional sports. Oh, it's... Absolutely. And that's where agents and management teams come in. They're like that all-star coaching staff. Yeah. We talked about, you know, they're working behind the scenes yeah. to help athletes reach their full potential, but off the field. Off it's... the field, yeah. So, I mean, what can what can parents and families do if, if they're not quite ready to, like, you know, bring in a whole professional team just yet? Well, I think it's all about kind of, like, building those relationships early on. Yeah. Just, like, learning the ropes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Attend those industry events. Okay. Connect with other families in the sport. Yeah. Even like reach out to smaller brands, you know, or yeah. local businesses for yeah. like potential partnerships and stuff. You'd be surprised I mean, so how much you can learn. Right. Just by putting yourself out there, having those conversations. You're basically like laying the groundwork then. Right. Right. For their future success, even if it's starting with just, you know, small local collaboration. Exactly. Exactly. It's about gaining experience, right? Yeah. Building a track record. Yeah. Showing potential sponsors that you're serious about this. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I imagine having those early experiences, you know, can be really invaluable later on when the stakes are higher. Absolutely. It's like anything else in life. The more you practice, the better you become. Right. And that, you know, that brings us to like another really crucial aspect of securing those like dream sponsorships, uh, yeah. the art of negotiation. Okay, let's talk deals. Mm -hmm. What are some common misconceptions people have about that whole process? A lot of people think it's all about like 
you know, getting that big paycheck up front. Right. But the Soccer Moms and Dads podcast emphasized that it's not just about the money. Uh, it's about like building a mutually beneficial relationship. So thinking more long term and, and finding a partnership that that makes sense for both sides. Exactly. It's about understanding what the brand is hoping to achieve right. through this collaboration. Right. And then figuring out how the athlete can help them reach their goals. You know? Yeah. It's about aligning values, finding those creative solutions. Yeah. And just negotiating a deal that feels like a win win for everyone involved. Yeah. It's about more than just like slapping a logo on a jersey and calling it a day right precisely now while these negotiation principles you know they kind of apply universally right let's look at you know how lebron james like the master of brand building himself right how he's exemplified this in his own career okay you knew i wouldn't let you get away from this conversation without talking about lebron james yes, right? of course of course his nike deal ah. legendary yeah, oh yeah but what's so fascinating to me is like his early understanding of this whole like brand alignment piece. Oh, for sure. Can you elaborate on that a bit? Yeah. Even as like a rookie. Yeah. LeBron was super strategic. Right. In choosing sponsors that aligned with his long term goals. Right. Like you think about his deal with Coca Cola. Right. Showcased his understanding of the market. You know, even beyond basketball. Right. And let's not forget, one of his earliest endorsements yeah. was with McDonald's. And and I remember reading somewhere that, that that deal, like, really opened his eyes to to the impact he could have on communities. Exactly. That's where you see the power of choosing partners that share your values. Yeah. It's not just about, like I said, slapping a logo on a jersey. It's about platform yeah. influence. Right. Making a difference. Right. Look at, like, his partnership with Sprite, for example. Right. They completely revamp their marketing strategy around him. It's about finding those synergies, right? Yeah. That elevate both both the athlete and the brand at the same time. Exactly. And, you know, let's not forget, he was one of the first athletes to sign, like, a lifetime deal. Right. With Nike. With Nike, yeah. A true testament to the power of building those strong, long-lasting relationships. It's wild. It's incredible to think about how... You know, those early decisions really paved the way for, like, this whole empire he's built. Yeah, it really goes to show you the importance of strategy right. and long-term vision when you're playing this game. Absolutely. And and it all circles back to what we were talking about before, right? Yeah. Like, having that, that strong support system. Yes. That dream team in, in your corner, so to speak. 100%. Whether it's family, you know, yeah. coaches, mentors. Right. Or eventually, you know, agents and managers. Right. Having people who understand that business side of sports. Right. That can make all the difference. They can help them navigate, right? All the contracts. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All the all that stuff, brand management. Right. So that they can focus on, you know, what, what they do best. Exactly. Which yeah. is, you know, perform. Perform, yeah. On the field, on the court, whatever it is. Exactly. So for, for all the parents and families out there who are listening and thinking, okay, this sounds amazing. Yeah. But where do we even begin? Right. What what advice would you give? Like what would you say? I would say just start by having those conversations. Okay. Talk to your athletes, you know? Yeah. About what their aspirations are, their values, mm -hmm. what's important to them. Right. And then you can start researching potential sponsors together. So make it like a, a team effort. Exactly. Exactly. You like that. And, and remember, it doesn't have to be this, like, big, overwhelming thing, right. you know? Start small. Build those relationships. Learn as you go. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask for guidance, you know? Right. From people who've been there. Right. Find those mentors, those people who can who can help. Yeah, because, I mean, every, every successful partnership, every major sponsorship deal yeah. started with that first step, right? Yep. That initial outreach, that belief in the athlete's potential. Couldn't have said it better myself. This has been a really, really incredible deep dive. I feel like we've all learned so much. Me too, yeah. For those of you, though, who want to like keep the momentum going, yeah. I, I highly recommend checking out you know, the Soccer Moms and Dads podcast. For sure. They've got a ton of great information on their website. It's a fantastic resource. It is, yeah. And you know whether you're whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out yeah you know the the key is to is to stay curious stay informed stay informed yeah and never stop exploring those win-win opportunities i love it that is a wrap on another insightful deep dive until next time everyone you know keep playing smart yeah and aiming high <laughs>